Hello everyone, Konnichiwa Mina-san, it's Koneko here, and today's video is going to be a sticker collection video. <laughs> yes, another collection video. I hope you're not getting too tired of them, but I really like doing these collection videos. I do keep everything in separate playlists so that you can just click on a playlist that you do like. So I have two books here that are albums filled with stickers. This one is a lot newer, this one's a lot older. So I think I'm gonna start with the older one first, um, kind of go in order that way. I feel like this one's gonna have the best stickers though, to be honest. And of course the sticker album is Pocahontas, which is my favorite Disney movie. She's my favorite Disney princess, whether she's actually considered one or not. So I have some lovely doodles and little stickers over here. Wow, these stickers look so old. So there's some like cats and penguins, elephants, a lot of stars and hearts. Definitely placed kind of randomly. Some more animal stickers of all sorts. Uh, I really love giraffes. I don't know if I liked them a lot as a kid, but I definitely like them now. Who is this bear? It looks like he's supposed to be a character from something, and I have no idea what is going on over here, like with these things. I think at the start here, a lot of these stickers are like ones that my mom got for me. I'm sure she'll correct me if I'm wrong. Oh, there's a page of Winnie the Pooh. I always had like a huge collection of Pocahontas themed stuff and my sister had a huge collection of Winnie the Pooh stuff. Oh, this looked like stickers that you colored. I used to get them at like the grocery store. Um, of course, like this is when I was little and I lived in Ontario, um, but you would get this like little plastic animal and then it would come with like a treat for the animal that was actually edible and like a sticker too. I don't know if the glare of these pages is really messing up the shot or not, but got some food items over here. Uh, I love how I had to add words in there. Of course, there's Barney. I was a Barney kid. Some more Barney and some Barbie. More Barbie. Oh, there's some Spice Girls. This is like those bubble stickers. I love these. Oh, some mermaid and dolphins, Barbies. There's Baby Spice. Spice Girl, yeah, gotta have my labels. <laughs> Poor Bambi, covered up by dolphins. Ooh, Sailor Moon, there we go. Sailor Moon and Bambi. Some more animals over here. Looks like Bugs Life. Jump rope for heart. I did that in elementary school, which was a French and English school. Some Sportsy items and killer whales. Killer Watts. <laughs> Alright, Easter and the Lost World Jurassic Park. What a combination for a spread. The Easter one is freaking crazy. That's intense. <laughs> and then there's, you know, some dinos. I don't know why I had to do this. Like, it says it right there anyways. That was a weird child. Oh my gosh, what is this? What is this? <laughs> oh, okay. Oh my gosh. Alright. Was praying mantis with a sword, no big deal. Some skulls and snakes. Oh, the Lion King. Oh, were these stickers fuzzy ones? Yeah, they are. These stickers are fuzzy. Anybody remember the movie Babe? 
Oh, I remember this cartoon. Okie dokie sticker corp. I keep seeing that everywhere. Hmm. Oh yeah, sticking around. I liked this show. I think the brother's name was Bradley, but I'm not super positive. <laughs> and Franklin, medieval times. We got some Winnie the Pooh, Crocodile Smile, Arthur. Watched that a lot as a kid. Some, again, fuzzy unicorns. I can tell that they're fuzzy. Oh, there's a fuzzy castle. Those are cute. Oh boy. <laughs> Brats. So these aren't stickers, these are cards. Like holographic cards. My s younger sister and I had a lot of brat dolls. <laughs> Oh yeah, the magic school bus. This was a great show. The only time I really ever digged science-y type stuff was because of this show. Some more random stickers, because those cheese strings always came with stickers. Some more Winnie the Pooh. Um, and some stickers that's basically like, good job. Way to go. Excellent. Bravo. <laughs> Oh yeah, Rugrats. And some like very Canadian-ish looking stickers down there. It's bubbly hearts. This is a very random page. Alrighty then. Oh yeah, get into some good stuff. Okay, so there's a lot of butterflies and little, little stuff there. But BAM! Pokemon! I definitely had a whole bunch of Pokemon stickers. Whether they're all in here or not, I have no idea. That's awesome. Yes. This is glorious. These poor things are going to wear out because they're not in plastic, but... Probably easier to see because there's no plastic, actually. And that's the end of that. I feel like this one was super cute and nostalgic with like the Spice Girls and the Sailor Moon and the Pokemon. I don't know if the other one is going to be as good or not. Alright. So starting off with just some cute butterfly stickers. And we got, I have no idea who these girls are. They don't look like brat dolls. And clearly, I skipped a page. Whoa. So this is just pastel stuff, lipstick, uh, nail polish, mascara, a bunch of hippie looking signs. Holy moly, this page won't even stick down because I covered it too much with stickers. Some animal stickers. Oh, these look interesting over here. Whoa, they're so squishy. They're like jellies. I don't think this sticker book is full actually. Ooh, some glitter ones. I don't know if you can see how glittery they are. Some little doggos. That might- oh no, that's not it. Why did I skip some pages? What's wrong with me? So those are a little bit glossy. These stickers look like they're all from the same pack, like all the same style. I would not be surprised. Is that it? Yep. That is it. So yeah, this one was a newer one that I never completed and never finished. And it was a lot of these type stickers. This is a very pretty album though. I haven't seen sticker albums around in a while. I would love to start like a new sticker book. But maybe a smaller one that is like cute and pastel on the outside and then I just fill it with different cute pastel stickers because I have a bunch of stickers that aren't in sticker albums that I'm going to show you. It's like I don't want to use them on anything, I just kind of like having them in a little album. So here's a bunch of little stickers that I have. I have these donuts and little 
tea or coffee, whichever you prefer. I have these cute squishy cats. I have a few little random stickers. Some more cute little guys. Some Rila Kuma travel. Little cute sun, some popsicles. Hello Kitty, balloons. More donuts and other sweets. Some pastel deco type style. Kind of looks like lace or something. Just some cute stars. And some more cute sweets that are kind of like puffy stickers. Although I like to stick some of these in little cards that I send or in like my planner um, for different things, like I have stamps as well, but I like to put these in some of my planners and calendars and I've used some of these stickers on my face. But even though I do use them for other things and it's most of it is like missing because I've used them, but I would really like to have, you know, a small little sticker album where I put a bunch of pastel things. And some of these have duplicates, so I could put one copy in the sticker album and then use one for whatever that comes up that I might want to use it for. So yeah, that has been my sticker collection. If you like this type of video, please give it a thumbs up so that I know that you like this type of video. If you're new here and you like cute and pastel things, collection videos, unboxing videos, be sure to hit that subscription button and if you'd like to be notified when I post a new video, click the bell icon. And I hope to see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye!